boys DMR, we have a single club team born to run track club, along with the other championship teams, Crater Lake Distance Project, and this is a great story. We'll get Tom in on this. Forest Park Track Club, LA Cubs, Jay Sarah, Bishop Kelly, West Salem, and Franklin Track Club. Tom, you're back with us for the DMR, of course, a substantial part of historically great relay events and uh, some really good uh, collections of athletes here. But the one to watch is Crater Lake Distance because two of the best young middle distance, maybe long distance runners going forward in Tyrone Gorzy and Josiah Tostenson are running for Crater Lake. This is essentially Crater High School from Central Point, Oregon. And Tyrone Gorzy uh, is a real seminal talent. In fact, just a couple of weeks ago, he ran at the Portland Track Fest, the number three high school performance all time at 10,000 meters, 29.0017. He's got a tremendous amount of charisma. He's going to the University of Washington. He's running the 1200 leg on this relay. So he's the lead off leg is Tyrone Gorzy. And if the camera can pan a little bit left, you'll see him uh, a little bit further left. And one more guy and you'll be there, number Seven is Tyrone Gorzy. Get a good look at him. There he is. And this young man, as I say, kind of a once-in-a-generation talent. And he comes along at a golden time in middle distance running in high school. And um, this crater team is the little engine that could, Bob. It's not just Gorzy. It's Tostenson, as you mentioned, and a whole bunch of others. There is the junior, Caleb Doddington, who is a big force in the high school meet. And... Gorzy is is so amazing in that already at his age, I mean, he's already set an American best indoors at 5,000. He's moving into these longer events at a very early point in his career, and he seems very comfortable in those events. He has great running mechanics, and he's number seven there in the middle of the track. Here's what's going to be important for Tyrone Gorzy in this 1,200-meter leg, which is a little bit, you know, he's still a very, he's a, you know, 404, 405 miler. But 1,200 meters is a little different, and he needs to provide a cushion for his teammates. And you may be asking me, why is he running the 1,200 here? Well, he's going to be coming back and running the mile, the open mile here, the championship mile later. So this is why he runs only the 1,200. And you see and right there's now a he's second. Being paced uh, by, yeah, Crater Lake B is pacing him right now. Yeah, that was a late addition, a second Crater Lake team. And again, that program is so deep. And, you know, they've had these great years in cross country as well. And uh, they have a huge group that they can put together. And they are constantly, you watch them in the spring, they're constantly mixing up their combinations uh, in relays, but also who runs which event. I mean, Gorzy would he be competitive at anything down to the 800. But again, he's moving his interests to longer distances. But he definitely has a history of speed. And you see him well, running right on some the pace. shoulder and now passing. Yeah, he's, his, uh, he's getting pace setting help. He's getting pace setting help, Bob, because his Crater Lake teammate was yelling at him to take it from here. Tyrone Gorzy ran 100.13 for the first 400, and that is sizzling. And look at the turnover. Watch the way his legs move in piston-like motions. He is the real deal. And when he goes up to the University of Washington and runs with Andy Powell, the guy that coached the first and second place finishers at the NCAA 1500 meters, and the guy that also had eight runners from his school run sub four minute mile in one race with no scholarship athlete, with no full scholarship athletes, you know you're going to a fine, fine program. Corsi has already run on that track, spent quite a bit of time with the uh, Husky indoor season over the last couple of years. So going to a very familiar place and with, again, as you said, great coaching for this event. And he just picked it up, Bob. He just picked up his tempo right when he hit the 200 meter mark to go in his leg. He's going to run possibly a sub three minute leg here for this first 1200. He ran a 59.7 second 400 a 60 flat first 400 and he is flying down the track three oh one so he goes 60 59 61 
And this is now Chenoweth for Crater Lake, running the 400-meter leg. Crater Lake not known so much for their sprinting, sprinting prowess, uh, but this young man is holding down the fort, which is all he has to do on this 400-meter leg. And then he'll hand off to Doddington with Tostenson anchoring on the 1,600-meter leg. And 50.57. Caleb Doddington was third. And uh, for Born to Run of Texas, uh, their second 400-meter leg runner ran 49.51 in Loyola of L.A. 49.83 for their 400-meter leg. So the records we're shooting at today... Of course, the Hayward Field record in big jeopardy, 10.01.72. Ridgefield, Connecticut, 2021. The U.S. best this year, 9.58.15. That was the Christ School at Penn Relays. The national record, can we talk about that? Yes, 9.49.78. And that is also the meet record from way back, 2001, South Lakes from Reston, Virginia. And guess who was on that? You know who was on that team. Alan, Alan Webb. Webb. Yeah. That's the year he came here to Eugene and ran the 353 mile, which smashed Jim Ryan's high school record. That's right. At the pre-classic. You don't want to know something, Bob? Um, for a lot of people, their single most memorable uh, kind of memory from that of any pre-meet was Alan Webb smashing the high school mile record. That's how significant that was. So 54.80 for that first 400 stanza of the 800 here for Crater Lake. And I'll tell you what, Born to Run is still in this. And now Tostenson gets the baton, as they say in uh, Europe. The baton. He's got the baton now. One fifty-five flat for uh, Crater Lake for for uh, that eight hundred meter leg. We're going to see some record go here. I'm not sure which one, Bob, but we're going to see something happen here. Yeah. Well, and Tostenson, now he's drifting towards longer distances already. He ran a 858.13, two mile here at the relays back in April. He was 13th at the Oregon High School meet at 3,000, but fourth in the 800. So he's got great speed, but he's dabbling at longer distances. And Crater is like a city of 6,000 people. And they are, it's not just one guy. They've got a plethora of guys that are performing. Now Central Point has grown significantly. A lot of people have moved you know, it's adjacent to Medford, and a lot of people live out there and commute in. So it's steadily growing, and always emphasis on sports. They were always the small school. The old Southern Oregon Conference, when Medford had the one big high school in Roseburg, they were that feisty little school that was always chipping away at Medford and Roseburg and the rest of that league, and now they are a power in Class 5A in Oregon in a lot of sports. And Bob, uh, Tostenson, for some reason, went out in 55.78 uh, from that 2,400, uh, you know, his first 400. His second 400 now, 104.28. So Tostenson, Bob, ran a two-minute flat first 800 of his 1,600 leg. With another Gosh, 800. Gosh almighty. And another 800 to go. Now, now, look at his face. He's feeling it right now. He's feeling that 55-78 first lap. That was way too fast. 
To give you an idea, Bob, the world record in the mile is 326 flat, which is about 55.2 per lap. This young man went out in 5578. A little bit too fast, and that may be costly to any sort of record potential here. And you can see he's really tying up. So what he's got to do is kind of just keep himself under control. You got the race won. You may not get the record, but you got the race won. Just get it done. To break the meet record, he would have to run under 63 seconds. To give you an idea, he just ran that last lap in 70 seconds. He went from 55 to 64 to 70. And right now, it does not look like he's going to run a 63 lap. No, sir. He just blows it up at the end. I mean, he's done plenty. Now, he runs a 62. They break the Hayward Field record. He's got to be careful because Born to Run, their anchor leg is starting to move up just a little bit. And this is what I mean. He looked behind him. This is what I mean about just you have to just have control so that you have something left in case you get a situation like this where somebody's breathing down your neck. And Born to Run has a 9.58 seed time. No slouches there. No. going to be it's actually going to be a lot closer than I thought it would be. <laughs> 1009 final lap 71. So he goes 55 almost 56 and then 64 70 71. And it's 422 44 for the complete leg. So they went 301 77 with Gorzy who looked brilliant, looked magnificent. 50-57 for their 400 leg, a super 800 leg of 155.01, and then that 422 closing 1600. I wish Tostenson had gone out maybe six or seven seconds slower in that first lap. So Crater Lake Distance, your champions. 10.09.79, born to run, really running against themselves as a club only team. 10 11 84 and the LA Cubs were third 10 18 90 and there are your champions Crater Lake Distance Project Central Point Oregon hey Bob do they get to keep that do they get to keep the finish tape I would hope same here. That's a nice finish tape. Now, Tyrone might not like it because it's got Oregon colors, and he's going to Washington. And you know the green and gold is kind of like a, you can't wear that. 